Hey guys, welcome to the video. In this video, I'm going to start, I don't know how, I don't know how far I'll get into it, but I'm going to start working on the uh, fuel cell for the Baja bug because if I, if I make and finish the fuel cell, then that will finish the Ecotech installation. So let me show you what I've done so far. First thing I did was went to the scrapyard and grabbed some scraps of aluminum. At the scrapyard by me, aluminum is $2 a pound. And they've just got a rack with all sorts of different sized pieces. And so I'll just go through and grab some different thicknesses and, you know, grab whatever I think I can work with. So basically I've got uh, this piece, which is about an eighth inch thick, which is kind of a little bit thicker than I normally make for uh, fuel cells, but this one's going to be in the cab with me, so I'm really gonna make this one pretty robust. And then over here, I've got another piece that is uh, a little bit less, I think it's uh, 0 0.190 inches thick, and this one I'm gonna use because I need to make some mounting flanges and whatnot on the top for the fuel pumps, because I am gonna make it with two fuel pumps like this. This is the uh, the factory fuel pump. It's going to have two of these mounted in there. And so it's going to need, I'm going to need to make some sort of a ring that these will set into. And then there will be some some plates kind of like this that sandwich the fuel pump and they'll they'll screw down into the cell. And then they'll have to sandwich this gasket in there to, to seal it off. So the first thing I did is I went in um, and I took measurements for the fuel cell that I think I can fit in here. It's going to be about 10 gallons, which is a little, I'd like it to be a little bit more, but I'm trying to draw it up so that it will clear my electrical box, which is down here. <clears throat> and then right in front of the electrical box is my uh, shifter coupler. I don't want to cover that because I will always want to be able to access that on the trail in case it comes loose or anything like that. So I've drawn up a fuel cell that will mount low right kind of behind the seats and it'll go right up to the shifter but it won't cover it. My plan then is to make a fuel cell and then I'll fabricate a little kind of like a cradle that it'll sit in and it'll have straps that hold it. So I'm going to take you along as I start fabricating it and kind of <clears throat> show you what I do and what's involved. So it's the next day. This is going to take days. I've got my pieces here that you saw me uh, go out there and cut with the circular saw. Um, that went really well. It gives you really nice, very straight, clean cuts. So when I can on aluminum, I like to cut it like that. I could have cut it with the uh, plasma cutter, but that's so dirty, it requires a lot of cleanup. If you just rip through it with circular saw, it actually comes out really nice. So I had put tape down wherever I was sliding the circular saw because um, the fence that it rides on will just really do some nasty scratch marks as it runs across the uh, aluminum. So I always put tape on there just to, to keep the scratches down. And what I'm going to do now is all of these edges that I cut have a, uh, a sharp burr on both sides from the blade. So I've got this deburring tool, which is basically just a handheld tool with two little hardened steel edges. And you just put it on here and run it across the metal and it'll peel up the edges and take off the burrs. If you don't have one of these, you can use a file. It's, it's no big deal. So I'm going to do that and then uh, I will start, once I deburr all the edges, I'll clean them up with some alcohol and then I'll, uh, I'll put the pieces together and what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the bottom and the sides. I'm going to heavily tack weld that and then when I have the box of the fuel cell, 
then I'm going to, you know, put the fuel pumps in there, see how they fit, and then look into how I'm going to make the top. basically put everything roughly where it needs to go so that everything will have clearance and then I took this piece I cut just like I cut the pieces for the fuel cell I this is um, almost quarter inch but not quite aluminum I used my circular saw to cut this out so that it fits right on the top of the fuel cell here and I also cut this piece which I'm going to use to make the rings that are going to go on top of the fuel pumps. And then what I've done is I transferred all of the dimensions for these devices onto the lid here. Now everything is set up here. It looks like everything is in random positions, but I've actually put some thought into this. Put the filler over here because there's room for it. I've got this fuel pump here. With this fuel pump, I took the sending unit off. Then this fuel pump, I've got it pushed back into the corner because if I do that, I can use the fuel sending unit on it. So what I'll do is, you know, for this fuel pump, I'll have the plug just for power. But for this fuel pump, I'll have the plug delivering a power, but I'll also have a, uh, a fuel gauge on the dash that will read off of this sending unit. So I've got all these points transferred on here. What I'm going to do is use my scribers here and do some some layout of the holes that I need to drill. It gets a little bit little bit tricky because I'm making this to fit the factory fuel pumps. But I'm going to cut some holes here that the fuel pumps will go down into. And then on this piece, I'm going to cut out some some rings that will go on top of the fuel pumps. And then back over here, I'll put holes in those rings and I'm going to thread some holes into here so that I can screw the rings onto there and then it'll sandwich the fuel pump in there but I'll show you that when I'm actually doing it. Let me show you where I'm at on this now. 
this is the top piece for the fuel cell and I've been <clears throat> cutting out the holes for the this is fuel pump number one fuel pump number two this is going to be for the the fuel filler so what I've been doing is I cut the big the larger holes and if you can see here I've drilled some holes and threaded some holes in uh, each of the two openings for the fuel pumps and I also drilled some holes and threaded some holes for the fuel filler and then to go along with the two holes for the fuel pumps each fuel pump has a ring with matching holes um, and what these are going to do is these will when the fuel pump goes in here these will sandwich them on the top so what the intention is I'm going to put screws up from underneath for the fuel filler and for the the fuel pumps they'll stick up from underneath they're just going to be machine screws um, for the final installation I'm not going to do this right now because I still have to weld this to the fuel cell but I'm going to do a a prefab installation right now just to make sure that everything fits when I do do the final installation these will have thread locker on them which will seal them so that fuel won't come through the threads so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the bolts through both of the fuel pump openings the fuel filler opening and then I'm going to install the fuel pumps put the rings on secure that down I'm going to do the same thing with the fuel filler and what I have going over here is I've got three quarter inch pipe thread uh, holes drilled and tapped into the top here. One of them is going to be for a barbed fitting for my uh, fuel cell vent. The other two are just going to be plugs. The purpose of those is this fuel cell is pretty small. It's a little bit less than 10 gallons. If I do end up running with this fuel cell for a long time, that's not going to be really enough fuel to go too far on the trails so what I would do in that case is have a small auxiliary tank with a separate fuel pump that could pump into this tank so I would need one hole to pump into and then one hole as a vent so that the two cells can equalize pressure so that's what those two are for they're just going to be plugs for now All right, so here's the mock-up. Everything seems to fit without any problems. Here's the fuel filler. Here's fuel pump number two, fuel pump number one, my vent, the two plugs, and then these are the rings that actually sandwich the little flange that's on these factory fuel pumps. There's clearance for the plugs over here, and I shortened these factory lines that come on the pumps. I reattached the vinyl tubing onto the factory connectors and then in the next video I'll be making some little mounting clamps for the fuel pumps or not the fuel pumps for the fuel filters because those will mount right here and then from here the two fuel filters were, will come together to a block and then from that block it'll go to the fuel rail on the engine so this you know with all well with me only being able to work on it after work and with all the holes and all the threading and everything I've got into it this far I'm gonna call this it for this video this will be part one in part two I will uh, weld everything together I'll pressure test it and I'll probably do the uh, the fuel filter installation and I'm gonna make a couple of brackets to help secure the fuel lines as well 
And then I think I'm going to make a little blanket that wraps over the, the top just to protect everything. So that's what I'll be working on next, and that'll be video number two. So thanks for watching this video, guys. I hope it's motivating you to go out work on something of your own, whatever it is. And I hope to see you on part two. Take care.